three. Ben Brown, Evolution Martial Arts in Sparks, Nevada with Nathan. And you're on break, so you get to be here during the day. That's cool. We're talking about closed guard. Guard, like any other guard. So I'll be in closed guard. Your guard does a few things for you. It keeps my hips mobile. It keeps Nathan from connecting to me. Right? That's kind of the defensive mindset of guard. Any guard. Um, and then I want to be offensive too. So I want to capture his center of gravity. And I want to connect to him in ways that can move that center of gravity and allow me to do things like sweep him, uh, threaten submissions, back takes, expose the neck, expose maybe even the legs or arms, limb exposure. So a couple of things here. Um, I need, so you can see the difference between this. This is like what I see a lot. I even catch myself still after all these years doing this, being lazy, hips on the ground. So what I need is hips up. And to do that, I squeeze my knees and my heels are heavy, like this, hips up. So I'm really connected to Nathan. You can feel the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Between from this to this. Yeah. And I, I try to like squeeze their ribs. So I'm going to be nice because Nathan's my friend. But yeah, you want to really squeeze there. Um, I'm trying to root him to the ground. I'm trying to make it feel like it's hard for you to move, mm -hmm. even hard to get up. Um, I want to keep his hands off my hips. For him to pass my guard, most of the time it involves him getting his hands on my hips, going, put your hands on my hips. This is what he wants to start doing, creating this night, yeah, and then he's going to start, um, you can put your knee in my tailbone, go back, put, yeah, break open my guard, things like this. So most of his guard breaks, especially in nogi, involve hands on my hips. So kind of my go-to is I just put my hands on my hips so he can't. Go ahead and get your hands on my hips. I just, I make it really hard for him to do that, right? If he does get his hands on my hips, I have a couple options. I can peel them away here, and usually I even extend more, and then what I do is I'll drop my hips, and you can see like it creates almost like a void. And then I'm trying to make him put his hands on the mat. I want his hands on the mat, not on me. Another way, go ahead and put your hands back, just loosely for me, is I can try to get underneath here. This becomes really useful for things like this, right? Because I get that connection and then I can, I'm trying to bring your hands out and make you put them on the mat, not on me. And then <clears throat> I want to move his center of gravity. I want to break his base and posture. So that's a knee pull. Just go ahead and leave your hands loose. The knee pull is, Look, I got my nice, tight, and I'm gonna pull my knees to my shoulders. And I'm gonna try to make him put his hands on the mat. You gotta be careful when you're just starting out with this, not to smash their face right into your face. I've seen that happen before, right? But I'm pulling, constantly pulling. So we're just gonna play for a second. You're being a good partner, not resisting too much, just giving me something to work with. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to coordinate Keeping your hands off me with breaking base and posture, doing that with my legs with a knee pull. Okay. So we'll just play for a second, right? Just constantly making me, yeah. So he'll try to get his base and posture back. I get his hands off me and I pull, right? And this at first, I'm not doing anything with my hands necessarily. I'm just pulling, yeah. So that's the habit. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna connect with my hands. And it's just like every other guard. There's only a couple ways to connect with your hands. One is an underhook, underhooks. In closed guard, it's usually gonna be up on the shoulder. This doesn't do much for me because I can't pull. So I'm pulling here. Overhooks, those come when my arms are on the inside and come around. Um, if he's reaching for my head, overhook, right? I can have double overhooks. It's not that great, not that useful, but overhooks, collar ties. That's, I'm controlling his head. If we had a gi, I could do a collar grip. If we had a gi, I could do a sleeve grip, but this is no gi, right? So I'm combining those things. Um, two on ones. There's only three real ways to do a two on one. I'm gonna release my legs for a second. Two hands on the wrist, one on the wrist, one above the elbow, in either configuration. And those usually turn into arm drags. 
right? So a lot of times this will happen when he's doing something like this. Again, a lot of times they're putting pressure, trying to push my hips down. I extend and then I pull and I'm looking to get that elbow to this hip. When I do that, this is an even better grip. I hit out, right? So I'm combining all these things, breaking base and posture, connecting with my hands, and then the last part, kind of fundamentally, is I'm gonna hip out to the side of whatever arm I'm dominating, either with an underhook, an overhook, or a two-on-one. I'm gonna hip out in that direction. Couple of ways to hip out. Probably the easiest, energy efficient, we just call it kind of the scissor, where you're just taking your knees and bringing your hips out this way. You can also post on the hip, so kind of bring that arm in here for me. So like, you know, this would be kind of a two-on-one situation. I'm hipping out, and me personally, I like to try to put my knee over the top of their shoulder, and I'm squeezing here, and I'm making it really hard for them to get their base and posture back. Right, so now we'll play just a little bit. Very slow, like 50%. And I'm going to try to get, break his base and posture with my legs, with the knee pull, connect and hip out, okay? And then each time I do that, I'm gonna have Nathan kind of work out of it. I'm not gonna resist too much. So that it's a very flowy, you're getting some benefit too. Mm -hmm. Because when you're in someone's good closed guard, you're gonna get these things done to you. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to work out of them. Okay, so we're just gonna play. Okay, so, oh, this is kind of like an overhook. He works out of it, and then I'm right into an arm drag. Right, and then he works out of it. And then I'm into an underhook. And he works out of it, and then I have an overhook. So it's just this like, I want him to feel like it's a real pain to be in my closed guard, because I'm just constantly taking things, right? Arm drag, and I'm not doing much with it. I hip out there, I hip out. It makes it harder when I hip out. So you, you kind of get the picture there. It's just, that's the drill. You're trying to put all those things together. What I usually see when it comes to closed guard is I see a video on a sweep, I see a video on a submission. And I don't see anything talking about the skills it takes to create those opportunities. I shouldn't say I don't see anything, it's out there, but usually it's, hey, here's this cool triangle setup. Yeah, but if you don't have these fundamental uh, habits down, you're not gonna triangle anybody. And I think it gets frustrating for new people because they see this video and then they try it and it doesn't work. And then their brain says, hey, that doesn't work. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Instead of really focusing on the fundamental concepts and habits that it takes to create those opportunities. You got anything? I, I agree with the concepts. I think that um, I've watched videos before where it says something like do a scissor sweep and it kind of just teaches it like it's a straightforward move. But I think if you break it down into hand fighting, getting an angle, stopping people from posting, you'll kind of be able to build your own sweep. I love it. Yeah. You're the first person to ever take me up on that, <laughs> the suggestion you have anything to add, and I love it. That made me so happy just then. Anyways, if you learn to do those things, then you will be a total pain for people when they're in your closed guard. And it's a real good way to set up sweeps and submissions, back exposure. Anything else? That's it.